Hello? This is a public communication services collect call from uh, Stephen Avery to Steve Glenn, if he's in. An inmate at the Calumet County Jail. The use of three-way or call waiting will disconnect the call. This call will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, dial 5 now. Hello? Hi, Steve. Just a second. This is Steve's wife. Hold on. Okay, thanks. Hello? Hello, Steve. Hey, Steven. What's happening? Uh, not too much. What did you hear yesterday in, on the court? Uh, that uh, these guys are still going to fight about this, uh -huh. and uh, so we're going to have to have a hearing, and uh, uh, it's set for uh, April 5th, and my expectation is that you'll be out by then. You should be out, you know, long before then, I hope. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, we would want uh, you and your parents and Keith Finley to come testify. Okay. And, uh, you know, that's about it. Okay. But, uh, yeah, this Yahoo, I mean, even though, I see, I'll see, i tell you, Stephen, I could understand this guy wanting to, you know, dip his beak into into this money if you had won, you know, $20 million or something. Oh, yeah. But, you know, you got just enough money to handle your own legal defense, for Christ's sake. Yeah. And the notion that he thinks that he's entitled to some of this when he hasn't done squat and work, I, I'm just, I'm really surprised by this behavior. I really am. Uh -huh. And then so was the judge. I mean, the judge was saying, well, uh, Mr. Gingras, have you done any work in this case? And then he said, no, but I have a contract. And the judge says, yeah, but if you haven't done any work in the case, why should you get any money? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, he said, she said, well, that's what I want to have my hearing on. So uh, Judge said, well, all right, well, you know, we'll give you a hearing and see where it goes. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's, that's the situation for the moment. Okay. Well, my dad got all the papers and from the attorney, so oh. that's all done. From? From Mount North and from Manitowoc. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I guess he's coming there tonight at 430. Uh, coming to... Uh, the lawyer's coming to uh, my mom and dad. Oh, now is this Dean's? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good. Good. Uh, I'm sure he's going to want to talk to them about where they are in terms of bail stuff. Yeah. Um, because I know that's his number one order of business is to try to get you out of there. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, the, uh... Uh, the judge was very good in his phone call, but, you know, he also, I mean, if somebody says, well, uh, I want to have a hearing on this, the judge has got to give me a hearing. Yeah. Uh, but he kept saying, look, I'd encourage you guys to try to get this worked out because it seems crazy to to take time for a hearing on something like this. And, uh, oh, yeah, especially when they didn't do nothing. That's right. That's right. You know, it's because he told me to sign it. And sure. So I didn't have to come back. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You should stick with your word, then. Yeah, that's right. And I, I mean, I think the, uh, I think the affidavits that you guys filed are, are what, essentially, is going to be our position in this. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, anyway, so we're just to be safe. We're trying to get people lined up for uh, for April five, and uh, uh, that would include you. Uh -huh. That's on that's on that Sunday, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's, for some reason, I'm thinking it's like the middle of the week. Mm -hmm. uh, the fifth is on Sunday. Yeah? Yeah. Well, let's see. Of, of April? Not of March. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't have a calendar in front of me when yeah. we were studying dates. I figured with five lawyers yeah, that's, on the phone. That's March. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's in April then. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's why, uh, uh, I mean, the judge gave us, gave gave everybody, you know, like 10 days to file something, and then mm -hmm. we have 10 days to respond, and then he has 10 days to answer that, and mm -hmm. then there's a hearing. So okay. that's about it. Um yeah, so I guess we'll see where, where it goes.
Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, uh, now, are you able to call your folks tonight while Dean is there? Yeah. Um, the uh, you, you may you may want to. Well, actually, I don't want you to get into that discussion over the phone. Yeah, because they take everything. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I, I think we're probably. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, I think he feels uh, uh, pretty optimistic about being able to get you out of there. Yeah. I guess I guess uh, uh, mom and dad got a letter today. I guess it's real good, so they're gonna show it to the lawyer too again. Oh, good. From whom? I don't know. Okay. Uh, she didn't get that far, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's real good. I guess. Good. Good. So, Glad to hear it. Yeah. Well, um, as soon as something else happens, I'll keep you posted. But uh, you let me know if and when you get to the stage of getting out of there. Yeah. Uh, although Dean will probably let me know, too. Yeah. I mean, he and I have known each other a long time. And, you know, yeah. I'm sure he'll keep you posted and stuff. Yeah. So, um, so does, uh, we got that check already or no? Uh, I think that the money got transferred from Walt Kelly's trust account to... Uh, Dean Strang's firm's trust account yesterday. Oh. At least that, that This works. call was from the Calumet County Jail. This call may be monitored or recorded. That's, that's what was going to happen. I, I don't even know if it did happen, but yeah. that's what Walt was going to do. And uh, I know that we had all the all the transfer numbers that we needed, and mm-hmm. everything was ready to go by a, by a wire transfer. Oh, okay. So it, it should be in order. Okay. All right, well. Sounds good so far. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, things are going the way they should be, finally. Yeah, <laughs> now I'm just to get the stuff out. <laughs> That's right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, all right, man. All right, well, thanks a lot, Steve. Oh, sure, sure, no, no problem at all. And I'm, I'm heading back to Milwaukee tonight, so actually this afternoon in about two hours. So, uh, uh, you know, for the next month or so, you can just call me in Milwaukee if you need me yeah. for something. Yeah, I guess you're going to talk to Laura on Friday. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's done a lot of stuff too. So it sounds. Yeah. So it sounds. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, she's better than an investigator. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Good reporters like that. Yeah. And they're better than an investigator. Yeah. Because more people are willing to talk to them. Yeah. Uh, so that's. I mean, that's good. Yeah. So I'll find out what she has to say then. Yeah. All right, then, Steve. Okay. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Then. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.